But uh, we're coming to the last part of our event before dinner. And uh, it's my favorite part because we get a chance to recognize individuals who we believe have made the biggest impact to patient safety in the past year. And we call this, the, historically, the Patient Safety Humanitarian Awards. But beginning these, this year, we're going to rename these. Uh, and I want to talk to you a little bit about that. It's still the Humanitarian Awards, but these awards will be given in memory of two amazing people who made huge impacts in our world while they were with us. Although these two individuals did not know each other, they had a lot in common. Both exuded utmost passion for helping people who didn't have a voice. And both these people combined their passion with creativity to face challenges and solve problems. And in doing such, both in their own ways accomplished great things. It was impossible to not be inspired when you were in their company. I was fortunate to call Bo Biden a friend. He devoted his life to public service, serving two terms as the Attorney General of Delaware and as a member of the Army National Guard. As Attorney General, Bo went after those who abuse, abduct, or who otherwise put children in harm's way. As President Obama said, at Bo's funeral, he left nothing in the tank. He poured himself into making the world a better and safer place, especially for our children. He also fought his cancer with courage. And during his cancer, he spent more time caring for others that were being affected by his illness than perhaps even himself. I recently read the book his father wrote, Joe Biden's Promise Me, Dad and could not put it down. I wanted you to each have a copy of it. It should be in your bags. I hope you'll take away from it as much as I did, from how data sharing is vital to the health of our population and how we lack it today. Even the Vice President of the United States could not get Bo's cancer information from one hospital to another to get consultation. They had to actually use one of their family members who was a doctor to go pick it up physically and take it over. And also he teaches in this book how to enjoy every moment with our loved ones and courageously fight for those who don't have a voice and how we all need to take the long view to make this world a better place before our turn comes to leave it. We are forever grateful for Bo's legacy of compassion. The second humanitarian award we're giving today is, a name, is an, in the name of Steve Moreau, also someone I was proud to call a friend. Steve served as a fellow board member of the Patient Safety Movement Foundation. He always knew what mattered, what was real, and never took his eyes off of his goal of making this world a better place. Unfortunately, we also lost Steve to cancer. It happened so fast. One day, he was planning his retirement, which he said after the retirement, he was going to devote most of his time to the patient safety movement. And literally, in his annual checkup the next day, a few days before his retirement party, he was told he had late stage pancreatic cancer. As many of you know, he had a long and successful career in healthcare administration. He shared our vision of zero and helped in so many ways for us to grow the movement. His star shines brightly upon us as we work to, towards our goal. So it's my great pleasure that I now give our first Bo Biden Humanitarian Award to another man that has left nothing and the tank when it comes to helping others. This year's Bo Biden Humanitarian Award goes to a public servant that has made patient safety the center of his work and has created patient safety laws that are leading the world in eliminating preventable deaths in our hospitals. 
Since meeting him for the first time last year, I have learned that he never wavers from his goal to not only make hospitals across the UK, but the world as safe as possible. He leads with steadfast dedication to improving the safety of patients by mandating transparency and implementing countrywide policies that are certain to save tens of thousands of lives a year. It is my great honor and pleasure to invite you, invite, excuse me, the United Kingdom's Secretary of Health and Social Care, the right Honorable Jeremy Hunt, to the stage to accept the Patient Safety Movement's <laughs> highest honor, the Bo Biden Award. It's a humble award to you for everything you've done. Thank you so much. Do you want to say a few words, please? Just a few. Thank you. Thank you. Joe, that's very naughty because you told me to stay, but you didn't say why. Um, and um, I'm incredibly humbled. Um, I think that the person who really should be getting an award today is, is you for bringing together this whole patient safety movement. And uh, it's a big, big thing you've done. And you've gone global, and it's making a huge difference. And to get the support of President Clinton is an incredible thing. Um, and I think this is really a team effort. Um, I've been inspired by amazing doctors. I can see uh, Mike Durkin, Liam Donaldson, uh, people who have um, stood up in their own profession and said things have to be different. Um, amazing civil servants at the Department of Health, uh, William Vinyl and his team, um, Ed Jones, Christina Robinson, my, my advisors. Um, but I think the people I would like to accept this award in honor of, as well as Bo Biden, and what a privilege that is, are the patient campaigners. Uh, we heard from Martin Bromley yesterday, uh, people like Scott and Sue Morrish, uh, Melissa Mead, who lost their children, their loved ones. Uh, they've really shown us the way. And when you listen to them, it's not easy, it's not difficult to know what you have to do. So thank you. Jeremy, thanks for listening to those voices. Those voices have been talking for many, many years, long before I began my, my humble journey here. Thanks for listening and doing something about it. They really are showing the rest of the world what can be done. And uh, California is the first example, and hopefully the rest of the world following your lead. So thank you. Thank you so much, Jeremy. Thank you. It is with great pleasure that I give our first Steve Moreau Humanitarian Award to a person who first became involved with the Patient Safety Movement Foundation in just two years ago. And when he did so, he did it with great enthusiasm. In fact, when he began making his commitments on, be on behalf of his hospital, uh, Ariana thought, it must be a spam. There were so many. <laughs> he thought, she thought it was a joke, but no, sure enough, uh, Edwin meant it. When we spoke with him, his response was, why wouldn't, me, why wouldn't we make all these commitments? His hospital, Parish Medical Center in Titusville, Florida, which, by the way, is right next to all the uh, launches of all the space shuttles and all the satellites and everything. It's kind of cool. They've got a nice view of it, too. They started with nine commitments. And because of that, and because of the number of lives they saved, they were one of the groups that won the fishing trip party uh, with uh, President Carter, which we really had a wonderful time with. But during dinner one night, President Carter asked the representative, and Edwin couldn't come, so the CFO of the hospital came, well, you've done nine. Why didn't you do all of them? <laughs> and he said, we will. And as soon as we all left, when we got back, sure enough, the website was full of all the new commitments. And Ariana had a chance to go visit them recently, and they, they really walk the talk. And 
I'll give you an example. They have above every room a symbol. I've never seen it before. It's a very unique symbol. And they have on every uh, person's uniform and clothing also a pen, a large pen, representing that symbol. And I asked them, what is this about? And they said, well, before we enter the room, it's our way of pausing and taking a breath and being mindful before we go in. So all these amazing things they've done. And I, and I have to say, uh, you know who it is now, but uh, it's with great pleasure I call Edwin Lothman to the stage to receive our highest honor, the Steve Moore Humanitarian Award. Um, again, completely off guard. <laughs> um, Sarah did a good job. <clears throat> again, thank you, Joe, Ariana, uh, and everybody involved in the Patient Safety Movement Foundation. When I was introduced <clears throat> to, to this organization two years ago, as Joe said, I looked at all of the apps <clears throat> and I compared them to our strategic plan. It's our, called our game plan. As I mentioned before, George McAteria and our CEO and our visionary helped us drive forth <clears throat> for our community a focus on what do the people, the persons in our community need. And as I looked at every individual app, it was natural. We were already doing it. We may need to change a word, change a calculation, but the work was something that was already there. And one of the things that we remind our community at all times, it's not extra work to save a life. It's the work we do. So on behalf of <coughs> George, on behalf of our board of directors, on behalf of our 1,200 care partners who are committed to this, learn from you every day. I can't tell you how much I've learned in the last two and a half days from everybody here. Um, we truly appreciate uh, this award in honor of Steve Moreau. Thank you all very much. In many ways, Edwin is now leading the way with his hospital. UC Irvine is the second hospital to now uh, implement all the apps. And I hope next year when we're with you, maybe, maybe if we're lucky, all 4,000 plus, maybe even more hospital will have implemented all of the apps. I want to thank you all. This has been an incredible meeting. I want to thank you, Secretary Hunt, for inviting us to London. It's been phenomenal here. And uh, we... We hope to have some fun with you tonight over dinner with Taste of London, and we're going to have some entertainment by the uh, McKenna Lee and the Micro Fixers, uh, who uh, have been coming every year as well. Uh, these are healthcare people that are doing this incredible music, uh, both their own uh, originals and some beautiful songs. So let's let the fun begin. Thank you so much. Thank you all for coming. Thank you.